So it's the students that come up with the kind of consequence? Sure. Um, we look at the more sanctions, and we have definitely prescribed ones. So we have ones that we've outlined as like, this This is one that's worked before. But sometimes there's maybe an opportunity to give the student something that's going to be more impactful. I actually very, very often deviate from the prescribed sanctions because I want to really tailor what I'm doing to the student. And that's something that's very supported here is that if it makes sense for that student, let's do it. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll have them meet with someone that's currently in the field position of their choice um, or their profession of their choice and talk to them and be like, what would it mean if you were looking to hire me and you knew this? Um, and sometimes it's really impactful for them to hear like, well, that's going to stop, that potentially could stop you from getting this job. And it might be more of a wake up moment for them than if they were to just do a paper. Mm -hmm. So depending on the conversation that we have with them, that's when I think of what is going to be best for this student to learn and grow from this experience so it doesn't happen again. So I think that's what I would say myself and, and most of the hearing officers, that's, that's our vision of conduct, is we want to hear their side, to hear what, what was going through their mind when this was happening, and then find a solution that's going to be comfortable with both of us, that's going to involve them growing and becoming better for doing whatever the sanction is.